the Galladay thing segues us very nicely into just talking a little bit about free agency. I don't want to spend too much time here, but the Patriots uncharacteristically busy. Um, Bill Belichick did not like losing games last year. I think that no, is lost so many. very obvious, um, but they re-signed Cam Newton, which I don't, we'll get on that in a second. He no one stuff. in this likes Cam Newton. So I'm very Wait curious to see Unfair. what happens. We were correct in our assessment. That's, How about that? That's, that's true. Okay. We'll go with that. He, he might be a super nice guy. I don't fucking know the guy. He's probably extremely nice. And he's probably just one of the smarter, like uh, as a football player, he I is think. very intelligent. I would it, say it he's, seems he's probably got some, like he's probably humble now, but his I, shoulder doesn't do what a quarterback needs it to do. So that's bad. Not at all. He can't do this movement. He Giants this. also uncharacteristically busy, which I know Mike is excited about. Uh, yeah. Cleveland did some things to solidify their defense, which makes, I think that defensive front terrifying uh, in a division that can be had. And the Washington football ch- football team was like, we're all in on uh, Ryan Fitz magic. And that I mean, confuses the shit out of me. But let's start with the Patriots. Craig Brooks, they are in your division. They made a shit ton of moves. They signed two of the best tight ends. They went out and got Kyle Van Noy, who's going to be coming back into Miami with a chip on his shoulder. I know. They got, they got a lot of guys. They paid a lot of money. How are you feeling about the New England Patriots coming into this season? I'm just double checking. I knew about Hunter Henry. What's the other tight end? Uh, j- 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 Johnny name. Smith. Johnny Smith. That's oh, Johnny Smith. Oh, oh, yeah. Very nice. I yeah. see. I didn't see that one on the thing. They had a good. They had They're a. They're bringing run. back the the combination of Gronk and the guy that we don't talk about anymore. Right. Yeah, he's a. I think he's a murderer or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah he I definitely think he was a murderer. Might have killed people. Yeah, he might have done. He it. Definitely did that. So here's here's the thing. Even before I re- I I believed you and remember two tight ends. I didn't know his name. Um, the overall emotion is is really upsetting, right? Because here's what happened when two years ago you hear that Brady's done, he's moving on, right? He's going to go to Tampa Bay. Huge excitement as a Miami fan that, holy crap, for almost 20 years, the division was tough to win. We won it like a time, and he was hurt that year. <laughs> That's it was true. one time he was down with a knee, and Matt I think Castle. he was done for the season. Right. Matt Castle, we yeah, won the, the Miami ACL. won. Miami won that division that year and went to the playoffs and lost immediately like usual, but it looked like, <laughs> Holy shit. The, the clouds have parted. We're going to win. Then fucking Josh Allen is a vision of excellence. So immediately sadness, super excited to watch his games. Love that except for the two, he plays the dolphins, but I went shit. Now we're in wild card again. Like we always were. Then the news started coming out that Billy was throwing around Billy's 200 so millies. Billies. I heard it was like 200 or something crazy. It was crazy. close to 200 mil on the first, on, in the first week he spent over $200 million. And I got depressed because I went, oh my God, so much good looks like it's happening for us. And now that wild card journey is so much harder because our division, we got, that's four times we got to play against that collectively. That's Tough. sucky doo-doos, sucky doo-doos. Cause we'll probably lose one of the Jets. That's five losses right there. And we have not gone in. We've not gone into the realm. So I got depressed about it and hopeful that Bill has lost his marbs and what looks good on paper will totally implode. But the truth is I said that to make myself feel better. I don't think that's true. I think we are fucked and we are going to win less games. I told, I think I was talking to Pollard. I was like, I will be taking the under if the projection stays up where it was. It was at like nine or something. I was like, no. Even with 17 games, you don't think they're going to win nine games? It's going to be so much tougher now. Let me, if we get pits, we never, if we have a really strong draft, get a lineman, get a wide receiver, accidentally get Najee Harris, I don't think it's going to happen. That would be so exciting. If we got I multiple mean, opportunities. You pick at what, 36? It's possible, but I heard he was. There is a chance. Uh, there is. If nobody. That's not valued well, so it, it is definitely possible. I know that it could be like the Mark Ingram year. Didn't he mm, fall kind of ridiculous fall, and, like a lot. for a Heisman winner and stuff? I don't think Najee, I didn't think he won the Heisman, did he? No, no. Devon but if you, like, don't, if you don't get Najee Harris, you could get Travis Etienne though. You, right. There's a, there's a couple of dudes that would be very exciting. I just want to hear the running back na- that, that position come up. My excitement would get closer to like, all right, all right. We could be, we could be dirty. We can get in there. We can slide in with 10, 11 wins. But where I'm feeling right now is it's like the division got better that quick. Josh Allen ascended so fast. You guys, I think, 
as Giants fans are, are getting lucky right now. Don't be waste the division. Yeah. Don't waste it. The division, other than if Dak comes back at 100 percent Now they have defensive concerns anyway, but if Dak comes back at 100 percent they're something. I really don't think Washington football team and the Philadelphia Eagles are gonna be out of the basement for another maybe two cycles here, two seasons of probably five and under wins from those two squads. Mike, how are you feeling about Giants and all the moves that they made? Still, Danny Shelton signed recently. Adoree yep. Jackson was right before that. Uh, obviously, the Kenny Galladay signing was a big deal. How are you feeling in, in Giant land right now? If they get the draft right this year, there is no excuses. Like, this has to be a team really? that wins the division. Right. You got 100%. To win it. Because that's the thing is, we've now gone through – Dave Gettleman's gone through two coaches – you know, we've gone through a couple different, we've gone through a lot of coaches recently um, since Tom Coughlin. We've gone through what? Three different McAdoo, coaches. McAdoo, Schumer. McAdoo, Schumer, and Judge. And Judge With, now, yeah. So yeah. he's on his, we're he, on our third in like yeah. six years. Yeah, not great. <laughs> no. Not great at all. Um, so he's having issues with coaching. He's having issues with personnel, you know, I mean, we literally just cut one of the people that we traded for Odell Beckham for. So who won that trade? You know, like, obviously, he's a cap casualty because the cap dropped this year. Um, But, like, looking at that, this team is rallying around the fact that Daniel Jones has to get it together this year. We've given you weapons. Saquon should be 100%. Win games. You have to win games or otherwise it's – that they're going to be looking at starting to tear things down from the top again. So, so let me pose this query to you because I'm trying to be an impartial host. Yeah. Good word. <laughs> um, the giants had one of the worst offensive lines in football last year. Nope. They have done nothing to bring Not that yet. offensive line up. Not yet. Not yet. They've honestly taken away from it with the Zeitler signing in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. Do you still expect him, Daniel Jones, to take that step up, even though the protection in front of him may not be on par with what you you would expect from a a top 10 quarterback? Well, I think a lot of his issue isn't as, like, the offensive line's not terrific, 100%. I'm not even going to try and say that. Exactly. But one of his issues, too, is that his awareness is a problem he doesn't see the time where he needs to step up and go, or he doesn't see the time where I need to throw it away. And he holds onto the ball too long and it ends up costing him. He has the athleticism to get himself out of certain situations. We saw that two times where he had a long touchdown run and then a long, almost touchdown run because he tripped over his own feet. He did do that. uh, At the 10 yard line, which would have been an 88 yard touchdown or some shit like that. Um, He has the athleticism to get himself out of situations where he other quarterbacks in the past would fail. He doesn't have the awareness to act on that. And I think Joe judge is the right coach to say, be fucking confident in what your abilities are, get the job done, step up. You don't see your guy make that middle linebacker miss because you're faster than he is. Yeah. You know, because there's going to be a lot of times where we're going to be playing people. like, if we're, you know, if, if the Cowboys are running out the ghost of Sean Lee, He's going to be able to get around. They will be. He's a good. shell of. He's a shell of himself. It is sucks. he even still in the league? I honestly it's, don't he know. He is though. My my dad asks me every season. And it's always <laughs> it's always yes. It's always he's currently <laughs> on the roster. No, he's not playing. He's, yeah. Yes, he's on the team. Oh, there he was. Yep, he's back on the sideline. Like that <laughs> poor guy. So I can't stay healthy. I agree, Mike. If you had to put. What do you think the Giants' record is this year? End of the year, do you think they win the division? Do you think they beat Dallas? I think they do win the division, but it's going to be another ugly year. Right, not a sexy uh, record. And this just feels weird to say. Ten and seven. I was going to say nine and eight. Nine and eight. Oh, God, I hate agreeing with Spillane, right? (laughs) It's the worst sports feeling, but it just happened because I dead agree. It's that's a it's still a duty division, even with yeah. Dak, because they had other problems. Dak threw for one million yards in four games, and they lost a that's lot of true. those games. And they lost, I think, every one of those games. Well, except for that's one. Also, I think they won one. Yeah, uh, I think they before won he one. went down. 
but he was leading the league in in yardage and like and all kinds I think of good touchdowns stuff. too which was weird yeah. i know and they still couldn't. I, I came in second in two fantasy leagues where he was my guy so i still was that good if he was my guy all season i think i would have fucking got it but that's that doesn't matter that doesn't matter here nor there their defense still has a bunch of holes zeke i mean i don't think this is even a hot take or whatever uh not the, not not in that elite tier for me okay not not up there for me it's a little bit and of a I hot know, take is it i didn't bit. know that now because i think we have enough evidence that without a quarterback that is pretty pretty fairly up verging on the elite verging i'm not going to give him that i think we've had to talk about that and maybe i even said he was healthy because maybe right there let's see him come back right did the sleep number bed get him back like <laughs> let's see if it worked before we go all the way because zeke not enough nine games is going to win that division and it's on the back of saquon barkley not daniel jones because i'm just going to go the other way from years ago he's trash i'm just going to say it he's garbage because of what happened when he got run down on an 80 yard run i have no respect for that i've lost all respect for him he was on snl that week i don't know if y'all knew that that's hurtful (laughs) i did not but i i snl used his clip of getting run down by uh but again he had a lot of space yeah but he tripped and then oh, he, he tripped. tripped yeah he, he tripped. tripped he didn't get run down he you're fell. right you're <laughs> right he he tripped on his head. Yes. you're right it's worse <laughs> <laughs> the turf monster got him they um, used it on snipers out there update. and it was in philly update. too so we can't even say that it's the body of jimmy no. hoffa buried in no. the Netherlands. like well but i want to i will say your slander on andy dalton right now saying he didn't have an elite quarterback what the fuck my favorite hold on, on we're gonna we're gonna I, get there we're gonna get there i was trying to help you segue <laughs> i okay. i want to close this out does cleveland win that division this year with that defense with that offense nick chubb is a monster yeah. baker mayfield just needs to not turn yeah. the ball over yeah is this cleveland's division now are we yeah. living in a world yeah. where the cleveland browns will be division champions yes yeah yeah that's good. Remember the good business, the theme of the episode, good business and bad business in the NFL, right? They started doing some good business. They started drafting really well, taking, you know, talent, taking some good personalities. Baker showing why he might have, you know, been a first round pick that you're not going to regret over the life of, a, of two deals or three deals, right? And Steelers said, okay, we're going to sunset a guy and have a farewell tour. That's what they fucking said. That's not going to win you anything. I still can't believe that. I can't believe yeah. it. It's it's so good for those that don't want the Steelers to do well because I have friends that really like them. The Baltimore Ravens kind of exposed themselves a little bit. So if they don't retool and find the ways to offensively re, re-energize Lamar because he was a, a, a totally different version of himself from the MVP year. And again, their D wasn't even as like, what you thought Baltimore D was about, right? And yeah, sorry, long-winded way, Cleveland. Um, do we have all the all the sadness for Aaron Rodgers as he watches all these things happen, and nothing is happening in Green Bay? They don't. They just they're letting offensive linemen walk and not doing anything about it. Here's is Green Bay doing about. bad business, Craig? You can't be bad. doing bad business if you're doing no business. I guess the like, people of Green up. Bay own that team and they're fucking up, right? <laughs> Because they're going to not get Aaron Rodgers for the end of his career unless unless he just loves the city. Because a, a, a woman came into his life that changed everything for him. And I speak from watching enough content and seeing how different he was. If for some reason Shailene Woodley like wants to live in Wisconsin, the Green Bay, people of Green Bay got lucky. Because otherwise, he gone. He gone. But he doesn't care as much because his life is better. His life got better. He's having fun again. You got to watch him on the Pat McAfee show. If you, I mean, it was so. He's cool going to host see. Jeopardy two weeks. He's hosting for Jeopardy two for two weeks. It's so exciting that he's like figured out he has a career that matters for him after football. So Green Bay is fucking up because they could lifetime him. They could buy him in and lifetime him. He goes in the ring of honor. He's already going to go there for the yeah. Super Bowl and everything like that. But he becomes that thing that Favre wasn't. Favre left and then played at two other places. He retired, but whatever. They could life Aaron if they just gave him a few pieces. And I think they're giving him the finger instead because they don't want to pay him 38 mil, which is what, or 40 is what he's really going to want now. 41, 42. Sorry, because that's what Dak got. So And he has an MVP. 
that he just won a second one or something, <laughs> you know, like that's, that's going to bother Another. his agent. That's going to bother his agent. Aaron's upset, but he's at peace. Is that weird? I don't think so. Mike, what do you make of the Aaron Rodgers saga? Do you think he stays in green Bay? No. Um, <laughs> he's uh, honestly, I wouldn't be terribly surprised because he's got what one year this is the final year of his deal i believe so i'm gonna look i mean if, if, yeah you can double check a, that and it was a good deal he yeah, was in the was. 30s he was in the 30s it's just now that looks like dust going into the final year of his deal would you be at all surprised if for some reason san francisco doesn't go quarterback and wants to bring in aaron Rodgers? Bring him home. Whoa, you mean he could get dealt at the draft? You're saying not necessarily at the draft, but I'm just saying if they decide to not I just had a, re- this a physical year, reaction to that. <laughs> not go Holy quarterback shit. this year and and you know get a, a I got Aaron so Rodgers without having to give up any capital next year and just call this year a wash. So just I don't build, think so. I don't think you I, give up that much capital, but yeah, I, I do see what you're saying. You know, that's the thing is I, I feel like you could my, obviously the thing you have to pay you know, play devil's advocate on with that is Aaron Rodgers is going to be old father's time. Father time catches up to everybody not named Tom Brady. So, right. Um, it's because he kisses the boys on the mouth. That's why he sucks oh the life out he of them. He's, that. he's on a four year Aaron's on four year, one thirty four, average of 33 and a half oh. gave him 57 and a half signing bonus. It says free agent in 24 though, but that's doesn't, I didn't think so. That that's sound right. That doesn't sound right. Did he re up? He, he might up. It, it could be. Let me just Google that. What real. website are you on? Sport Track is where I always go for contract stuff. But it's okay. it's typically like like very accurate. Yeah, that's on, weird. But I'm gonna I'm gonna see resign or extension because if it says 2018, then then it's 100 percent true. Yeah, 2018. So yeah, sorry, he's interesting. He extended through Rogers is under contract through the 2023 season weird yep that is true yeah looking at it on <laughs> so they're not it's it's not the it's not going to be the money game other than a renegosh so I'm, I'm totally wrong on that so you could like cut that whole fucking part out i will not that is too much work hey guys if you've made it to this point in the video thank you so much uh we appreciate it i just wanted to come and give some additional information and this is going to be something we talk about on the next going for it session but uh aaron Rodgers' guaranteed money is up after this season So he's not going to want to play for no guaranteed money that leaves options for him and the Green Bay Packers. Allegedly, it's not going well. But again, this is going to be something we talk about. That's why the contract came up. We didn't know that at the time because we didn't put in enough research. But now we know. Um, And I just wanted to let you guys know if you weren't aware already. You're welcome. Bye.